uh, day to recover following that match. Um, looking back at it, what can you sort of take away from the game? Well, we we got dominated in the first half. And there was, there's no question about it that Orlando was the sharper team, better on the ball, better defensively, and they had more energy than us. So, you know, we, we came in at halftime, we, we made some changes, and uh, I think I thought we came out in the second half and, and, and did a lot better job of possessing the ball and getting pressure to them and creating chances. Wait, as someone who's obviously been in the league for a long time, played professionally for a long time, what, what is it that kind of leads to, is it, is it a mental thing, or what is it that kind of leads to maybe a little bit of a flat performance like that, and how do you kind of avoid that? That's a great question. I, and I wish I, I wish I knew the answer to that. I, I, I don't think anybody in our locker room saw that one coming. I thought that <clears throat> the trainings were really sharp throughout the week. I thought, you know, as a group, we were mentally, you know, prepared for this this game against Orlando. We, we, we didn't at all overlook them as an opponent. I don't think. Um, you know, I, I just think that they caught us on uh, a bad day, and we caught them on a very good day. Looking ahead now to New York, uh, obviously that's not an easy game. It's going to be a long travel, and then you have another away game. How do you kind of, um, even though these are difficult games coming up, kind of get some turn around, bounce back to get some results? Yeah, we we definitely need to have a positive reaction after that performance. And we're going on the road. You know, when you look at our schedule; it's going to be very difficult for us. So we really have to buckle down and scrap and get points. I think that. That mentality on the road is going to be crucial for us to, to be able to defend well, to play with a lot of energy, to keep the ball. Uh, those are going to be really important things for our success, I think. Uh, Kay Kayla mentioned, you know, one of the reasons that that goal they were able to score that first goal is that they were able to maintain possession of the ball for long periods of time. Um, is that kind of something that you guys hope to kind of replicate on on that side for New York kind of be able to try to maintain possession and look for that early goal yeah and that that's how you rest uh, is when you get possession when, when you get the ball and, and you move it around the field and I think that for us this team we need to learn really how to, how to manage that tempo uh, when to go forward when to pull the ball back you know, when to play that final ball uh, when to possess the ball that those are very important things for for teams that want to be successful and for teams that are successful in this league how hard do you think it's going to be stop Davy, you know, players like Davy Villa? You know, I, I think that there's so much talent in this league and so many good strikers, and David Villa is a legend. He's, he's an absolute superstar player, a fantastic striker. He, he's already scored some goals in this league, and, and he's been a pleasure to watch. And, you know, it's going to be very important for us to keep him from sniffing around the box, and, and that's going to really depend heavily on, on our defensive shape and uh, on our possession because if, if we can keep, keep him from, from touching the ball and keep him further away from our goal, it's going to be good for us. What does it mean for you to see kind of Will and Valeri finally coming along and getting back in practice for you guys and what's that going to mean for the team? Yeah, I mean, you know, just to, to see what they've gone through in, in terms of their recoveries and uh, the, the difficult obstacles that they've overcome to, to see him get to this point is fantastic you know as um, a friend of you know both of those guys uh, and uh, you know sharing a locker room with them I've seen see them go through so much and um, it uh, definitely puts a smile on my face to see him get out there and be able to knock the ball around and, and get some touches and so I think everybody's really hopeful that those guys can come out and uh, perform for us very soon uh, it's sort of an unfortunate subject but it's it's kind of hard to tell from uh, from an outside perspective, what happened on that first goal? Do you think you mm -hmm. can break it down, sort of, from your perspective? Maybe mm -hmm. what uh, what Orlando did well, what mm -hmm. you guys need to do better? Sure. Yeah. You know, I, I think that you know we, we we had an opportunity to clear the ball. We didn't. Um, uh, Orlando was able to get back on the ball, put a few passes together, get get in behind us, uh, get to the end line, cross the ball, and we didn't do a good a good enough job uh, of marking in the box. Um, and uh, you know that was. You know, the, the critical moment in the first half for sure and it's something that uh, we have to do better.